My name is Lisa, a.k.a. Yo Yarn Girl, and I just threw my pin across the floor. <laughs> well, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lisa, a.k.a. Yo Yarn Girl, and I am coming to you today from a sunny day Baby, in the Denver, Colorado area where I live with my family. It's been um, a little over a month, not the intention. I planned on getting back every couple of weeks, and that's still um, the plan, but it's been over a month. So I'm back. I have some finished objects, and I have, of course, always lots of works in progress, but a couple of works in progress that I will talk about today, and then some future knitting plans. I'm kind of doing a shift um, with the uh, podcast, and I'm not going to talk a ton about acquisitions. I think that this is a year that a lot of people are working from Stash. That includes myself. And so I want to be able to um, be part of a community that's not enabling folks. I'm happy to share um, yarn that I purchase, but I am not purchasing yarn on a regular. I am trying to purchase from my stash or uh, borrow from my stash. So if that's something that you do want to see, I am, I do receive a Yarnable subscription. I have started getting um, the monthly yarn from Ninny McPurley. So, and I didn't get January. I did get February and I'm getting March. And I'm hoping to try and um, do some socks from those that when they come in the month that they come in. I will at least start the socks and hopefully get them done before the next month. Um, some places that you can find me. I am over on Ravelry as YarnGirl67. On Instagram, I am Yo underscore YarnGirl. And then, of course, here on YouTube, I'm Yo YarnGirl. I do have a Facebook group for the uh, podcast. I am not in there regularly, but hopefully um, now that things are starting to calm down in my world of work, um, I'm going to be able to do some more cows and mouths. And that is a place that I also like to offer those um, things because I know not everybody is on Ravelry. <clears throat> and I apologize. I don't have any. I may have to stop to go grab something to drink. I have a little bit of a sore throat today. Um, but I wanted to get through this because it's been a long time since I've been on here. And I actually just want to say hello. I miss everybody. I miss all the comments that I get and interacting with all of you. So um, definitely don't want it to be another month before we talk again. So I've had some really old whips that I am trying to finish and get off of my needles and then shop my stash and do some other projects. So without further ado, I think I will, one more admin thing. I did a sock mal over my birthday month, which was February, and it ran February 1st to like March 15th. I have not drawn, but there will be a prize, and I had it over on Instagram, and then I also had it in my Ravelry group. I will be doing that this week, and I'll either, um, I will, I'll announce in Instagram and then I'll also do something over in the community tab on um, YouTube. Sorry guys, it's totally out of practice to um, announce the uh, winners. So again, I will not um, ask for any information on here, but I will um, announce those and then I will get a prize out to the person that um, participated in that. And then, like I said, I hope to have some fun ca uh, cows and mouths going forward. So, and for those of you that may be new to this community, a cow is a knit along and a mouth is a make along. So typically if I do a mouth, it means that I'm any yarny fiber goodness is welcome. And then if it's a cow, it most likely will be a knit along. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and get started with my finished objects. This is going to be a little bit quicker of a podcast, and I hope I'm not, like, talking super fast. I talk fast anyways, because I am going to work in a little bit. So, But I wanted to get on here and say hello and show you what I've been working on over the last um, month and a half. So, yeah, let's get started. My first finished object is a sweater 
that I had been working on for a while. And this is my, it's not blocked, but you've seen it if you've been over on my channel for a while, you have seen this. It's finally finished. I can't wait to wear it. It's comfortable. This is a 75-25 superwash uh, wool. It's a West Yorkshire Spinners yarn that is no longer, um, they no longer make this, it's a discontinued yarn. But I really like this. This is called the Warm Up. And it's a pattern of uh, the former owners of Aspasti Co. I want to say Melissa designed this, but I have a Ravelry page. It'll be linked below. And um, everything that I talk about today will be linked below. I'm probably not going to do a huge edit on this one. The last uh, podcast I did, it took forever uploading with all the editing and stuff that I did. So, um, but I will link everything. And if there's anything that I don't mention here that you have questions about. I also have an email and I'm yo yarn girl at gmail.com. Shoot me an email and I will um, happily respond. I do try to check there at least once um, a day, sometimes twice a day for any pertinent emails that I may receive. So again, um, really love my warm up sweater. And not blocked. Uh, if I think about it, and I have any, I'll try to pop in a little bit of footage of me wearing it. If not, um, I will probably have it on the next time because we will have some, we'll have some cool days, some more cool days here, not a lot. So I will probably get to wear this, if not during the day, but on an evening, if David and I go out to eat or something like that, and we sit outside, this will be a really great piece to layer over just a tank top or something of that nature. But love this, love the colors in the yarn, Love the simplicity of the raglan shaped sweater. And I think that I'm gonna put another one of these on the needles. This might be what is my staple sweater if I don't um, gravitate back to trying to do a flax or the no frills. Cause I haven't tried the no, I have not knit the no frills from Petite Knit but I hear a lot of good things about it. So I may try that one. And then, cause I'm trying to get my vanilla sweater, vanilla sock and vanilla hat. Those are three things that I'm focusing on for 2024 um, that I'll ha always have one of those on the needles. I do have a vanilla hat on the needles. It's a pearl Soho hat. I think it's a simple hat. I'm not positive. I didn't bring it up um, to show today. I have made some progress and maybe I'll grab it before the end of the podcast and just quickly show it. Love the colors of that hat, but that's my vanilla hat that I'm working on right now. If I really love the fit of it once I'm done, that will probably be my um, vanilla hat along with the muscle burl. So I'll go back between the two hats to um, knit. But yes, warm up sweater. Absolutely love it. So check that pattern out and that is a free pattern over on Ravelry. So good news. All right. My second and I think last finished object was a pair of socks, old, old whip. And these are sunshine on your feet. So a little backstory on this. This has been a whip in a bag forever. And Carla of Carla Knits had shown her finished pair of socks, sunshine on my feet. And I was like, oh my goodness, I love the pattern. Why did I put those down? Super easy, it's a DK weight pattern. Picked it up and I had most of the first sock done and I finished it that day. And then I cast on the second sock and finished that within like a day and a half. So without further ado. sunshine on my feet socks. These are so cute. This is again yarn that I have from my stash and I'll have all this is linked on my Ravelry page but this heel contrasting heel is a Miss Babs DK yarn and then the um, yellowy chartreuse it's really a chartreuse color is a 
yarn. It's a fingering weight that I held double from my Knit Crate subscription that I used to get. Knit Crate's no longer in business. I was part of that subscription and I got their sock yarn every month. And so, yeah, so this is definitely um, yarn from Stash. And I actually have, I want to say maybe two more skeins of this yarn. So I might do um, another pair of these to, for my daughter so that we have matching socks. But yes, sunshine on my feet. And it's true sunshine. It brought me sunshine. It definitely put a, a smile um, on my face when these were done. So yeah, go check these out. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is also a free pattern. So check that out on Ravelry. All right, moving into whips. Okay, so my first work in progress, and really it's a half object that I'm done. So I cast on a sock by Barbara Nwoko. I think this is her February, it was, it's her February sock, and she just had a baby, so she's on maternity leave. But I cast these on for my birthday cast on in the beginning of February. Super cute pattern, and I finished one. I'm still working on the second sock. And I, I didn't even bring it up to show because it's just in its baby stages. But this is my February sock by Barbara Noelko of Knitting I Love. Love, love, love this pattern. And I have all of her. She did, I think, a pattern for almost every month. I started, I think, in February of 2023. And I have all those patterns. And I am going to try to knit through those patterns this year. So this will probably be my color work sock um, because they're all color work socks that she has. And then I'll have my vanilla sock or, you know, whatever I'm working on. But these, I will use her patterns for my color work socks. So go check out her patterns and um, support her that way. Uh, she lives over in Ireland and it's hard for her to, just based on, shipping and taxes and all that stuff to ship her things but you can definitely support her by watching her channel she has a youtube channel and she posts fairly regularly but she does have a brand new baby and then you can also support her with purchasing her patterns and knit along with me through 2024 on her uh, color work patterns because there's some great patterns so again let me know if it's something that you're interested in and i will set up a ravelry page just for color work socks using her patterns and we can post in there all year long. I know that um, Peggy, hey Peggy, um, a friend of mine in this knitting community that I've met and she test knits a lot of um, her socks when before she puts the pattern out. So definitely um, go over and check out her patterns and I will hopefully the next podcast be able to show you the second sock finished. This was what I, like I said, for the cow, my birthday cow that I had, or Mal that I had going on. This is what I was knitting up. And so, like I said, I will pull a um, winner from, uh, from that Instagram hashtag and from my Ravelry. So uh, I will do that. And then, like I said, I will post uh, about that. So. And the really cool thing about this sock is the red yarn in here that it's um, a variegated. I knit last February, I had a Mal using one of her patterns and I used the same yarn and I had enough left that I was able to do these, do these socks. So I, that was pretty... Um, I like that idea. So it just, again, kind of brought a smile to my face, getting rid of some of the um, stash yarn that I have. And yeah, all nice. So I do, these are uh, toe up patterns. All her patterns are toe up. So if you haven't tried toe up, these are really good patterns. They're not difficult at all. Um, and it keeps you interested because it is color work. So they're toe up and she typically, I think does an after, I think her patterns call for an afterthought heel. I use the shadow wrap, so. This is a shadow wrap. So yeah, check it out. So first half object. And then I have another really old whip that I picked up 
I want to say maybe day before yesterday, after I had finished another old whip, and and that other one's not super old. It was from it's. I'll show you in a second. But anyways, I picked up this old whip and I finished it. I was just finishing up the heel and I'm really, really enjoying these socks. And right on schedule, I'm sorry about that. My daughter called in the middle of me podcasting. It is like she sniffs it out. <laughs> I think I said that before. She sniffs out the podcast and she calls. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to my um, next work in progress is another pair of socks. And I am really enjoying the Magic Heel Socks by the Autumn Acorn. And this is an old, old whip. And I think this yarn, I don't even have the, let's see if you can, it's blowing out, that color's really, really blowing out, but hopefully you can get an idea. Um, this yarn, I'm pretty certain is a dream and colored yarn. I got it from Simply Sock Yarn Company and I went to try to look at my old invoices and I must have checked out as a guest because I couldn't find my old orders to see what the color was. I can tell you it was a color that was on it was on their clearance, but I'm I think this was a dream in color and it would be a 75-25, but really love the colors in here and pick this back up. Love it. It's a fingering weight yarn. Uh, this is the magic heel. Like that heel. It does fit me well. It's a really good heel to use if you're going to knit a sock for a gift and you just know the person's shoe size. This is a really good pattern. I'm knitting another I have another whip that I'm not going to show you. I showed, I think, in my last podcast, which is a worsted weight Magic Heel sock that she has, and it's got some cables, really nice, and I'm uh, finishing up on that one. So my hope, uh, in March, I'm hoping that I can finish a lot of these socks that I have, one done or p most of one done, and need to do the other one. That is my plan, is to get some of these off the needles, and then I can start with my um, monthly socks uh sock yarns that i'm getting in the mail to get those done in that month so that is the plan but yes really like these magic heel so that being said i i got the advent skein from the cozy knitter this is like the third year i think that i've um received that one and I typically don't finish it at Christmas. I do Vlogmas and there's lots of other things happening and I, you know, I start out and then I just don't continue on. And so it gets finished later, which is fine. It's not a big deal. So this uh, year, same thing. I started out really strong and then I just didn't finish. But I watched, um, I think it's Gina from Skein Cocaine, and she had received the Cozy Knitter Advent as well, and she showed hers, and that's what brought me back to the Magic Heel Sock. She had done hers with the Magic Heel pattern, and I really it was really cute, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do mine, and I was partially done getting ready to start the heel, and I'm like, I'm doing a Magic Heel uh, Sock, so I just switched over and I did that. So this is my first one done of the Cozy Knitter Advent. And I did these as a magic heel. So I really like this. Um, the pattern is easy and it's basically, it's a vanilla, to me it's a vanilla sock pattern. So I will do, I'm working on the second one and I probably will do one when I as I do my vanilla socks, one will be the will be the magic heel, and then I'll do one with either a shadow wrap or something of that nature. But this is just super easy. When David and I are watching TV, I can sit and I can do this because it's vanilla other than that, and that's just a two by two or I, I forget what it is. But anyways, this is a paid for pattern, so I don't want to give too much away. But um yeah, I can sit and do this pattern so it's it's easy enough and meditative enough and the only place I won't do it is like we go to the movie theater but we watch a lot of movies at home on Saturday Friday and Saturdays and so this is something that I can have there on the sofa with me and knit away 
So super excited about this one. And I will probably, I will have that done by the next podcast. I am working on the second one and I am on the heel right now. So, and one of the reasons that I'm trying to get a lot of these socks finished and off the needles, I am running out of size one and zero needles. So I'm trying to perfect the best vanilla sock fit for me this year. That's one of my um, kind of things, I, goals. I, I don't know if I'd call it a goal, but something that I'm trying to do is really get that really good fit and find look at either numbers or needle size. So I have both needle sizes and I'm kind of experimenting. So, but that being said, I've got all kinds of sock whips everywhere on needles and I need my needles. So I'm trying to get things off of the needles. Something that I forgot to mention in the last podcast, for me this year, because I I am trying to really be mindful of yarn buying, 2024 for me is all about tips and techniques. And, or techniques, I'm sorry, techniques and tools. <laughs> so I'm not necessarily buying a lot of yarn but I'm buying yarn related tools. So I'm adding things to my knitting wardrobe, so to speak, that are tools. And then I'm learning new techniques. Part of what I'm classifying as my tools are patterns. So I am supporting pattern designers. I'm using some free, but I am looking for, you know, paid for patterns and I'm gonna be buying a lot of patterns for my pattern library this year. So I will, not in this podcast, but the next podcast, I will do some um, sharing of patterns that I'm really liking. I'll, I have a couple I think that I am gonna share today, but that is kind of my theme for 2024. It's tools and techniques. And in um, inside of that tool definition for me this year, patterns is gonna be a part of it. So you're gonna get a lot of uh, pattern tips this year. So, all right, on to my next whip, um, or I should say half. These are all, these socks are really half finished objects, but the second one is a whip that I am working on. But I, this is again, stash that I've had in my yarn, uh, stash that I've had in my yarn, stash that I've had in my stash yarn that I've had. Wow. <laughs> Slow down, Lisa. And I, this is a Legacy Fiber Arts. This was from probably two years ago that they put out at Halloween time and it's called Practical Magic and I just did a vanilla sock. I used again the Shadow Wrap Heel and I used Contrast um, Heel, Toe, and Cuff. This Contrast here on the Cuff is the contrast that came with the sock set. This was a 50 gram sock set and then a 20 gram mini. And so I got this one and I absolutely love this color. I need to go check their website to see if it's something that they, I don't think they carry this all the time, but I'll see if maybe they will have it again because of course, purple. So it's my favorite purples and I, would love to make a hat or some fingerless mitts. So, but I'll need another um, at least 50 grams to do that. But this is gonna use up, I think, most of the 50 grams that I have, and then I may have a little bit that I can put in a blanket or something like that left. But I haven't woven in these ends. The other one I am, I just actually started it last night, and I'm through the cuff and 10 rows of the leg. So, and for these socks right now, I'm doing a 65 row leg on my vanilla socks and a 65 to a 72 row foot. So this was 65 and 65, and this is done on a zero. Love the fit of this. So we'll see. It might be that this is 64 stitches. I might continue with 64 stitches and use a size zero, but I do wanna put a 60 stitch sock on the needles and see how that fits. 
And if it doesn't fit me, I can always give it to my mom because her feet are a little bit smaller than mine and a 60 uh, stitch count sock, I'm pretty sure will fit her uh, feet. So practical magic, vanilla sock, love it. So one other sock that I am working on and I am trying desperately to get off the needles this week, um, probably maybe even tomorrow I'll be done with it. It is another Magic Hill sock that's been on my needles forever. I'm gonna say at least two years. Let's see, is it two years? I'm gonna say two years, but this is a scrappy sock. This one's been done for a while. And again, it's the Magic Heel. And I'm not gonna put it on a sock blocker, but you get the idea. And a lot of these I think are Chick That Knits these are Chick That Knit Minis. Well, some of these are um, Addy of, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. She's a dyer that now is out of Indiana and I, wow. I'll have to put it across the top um, if I can't think of it or I'll link it below, but some of these are her minis as well. I get her advent and so these are just all minis that I put in here but it's a chick that knit and then a chick that knits and um, Addie and this is the second sock so almost through the heel and then I'll start the foot and we'll go from there. So this one should be done, like I said, in the next day or two. So it'll definitely also um, be finished for the next podcast. Okay, so I think that is it for my whips that I'm going to share with you. And yeah, I'm just really, life has been busy, but calming down, I, um, have kind of shifted gears with work and um, just there's a lot going on there. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm just working away at all my whips. So, you know, continue on. So let me um, take a quick break and I will be back. Okay, so moving on to um, just some things that I'm looking at knitting. I want to put, oh, I am doing the Dart Along Cal. I think Gina of Skein Cocaine, and there's a couple others, but I know Gina of Skein Cocaine, they are hosting that over on Ravelry and on Instagram. So I have cast that on and I just have the first part of that pattern done. It, and I, um, it's not enough to show you. So the next podcast, hopefully I'll be able to show that to you. So I'm doing that with some stash yarn. I'm using a Lion brand Fisherman's Wool in a brown color. And like I said, I can't wait to show that to you. I'm still working away on my Cory and Poncho. Hope to make some good progress on that on my um, on this next coming weekend. And then I am also working on my Seasons cardigan. So all those have had a little bit of work, but not enough that I am going to show this podcast. But I will definitely have those available to show on the next podcast. So. Some podcasts that I am watching are, I think it's B Win, B Win makes her name's Bronwyn. Which, funny, I came across her channel. One of my best friends when I was in grade school's name is Bronwyn, and I've never met another Bronwyn until a friend of mine, probably I, she's probably fifteen or sixteen now, maybe even older than that, had a baby and she named her Bronwyn. Well, then I was watching some YouTube and. It came up in my feed, this Bwin makes, and her name is Bronwyn, and then ironically, she lives in the Colorado area. So I've been kind of watching hers, but go over and check her out. She is a really good knitter, actually, and has quite a few projects. So check her out. The other one I've been watching is the Colorado Knitter. So again, 
really great channel. She has a lot of really great knits. Uh, seems to be pretty, I think she's very talented. So yeah, go and check her out. And then the other one that I have been watching lately is Bobblehead Knits, and she's also a Colorado knitter. So I've been watching hers, and I think she uploads, I want to say every Saturday, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's every Saturday. If not Saturday or Sunday, it's between Saturday and Monday. I know that she's not going to, I don't think she'll have one this week because they got family birthdays and things happening. I think even maybe her birthday. So she may not have one this Saturday, but yeah, check those podcasts out. Those are just some podcasts that are out there. And I think I'm just kind of looking at my notes here, folks. And I forgot to say, this is episode 24. So I um, can't wait to come back with a lot of finished objects in my next podcast. I'm hoping that it won't be longer than two weeks, but bear with me if it is. Life is just busy. And, and I've also had a little bit of a touch of just not feeling myself. Just, you know, that old grubbiness that everyone's had over this winter. But we are through that, I think. We are seeing some really nice days, although we did have a snowstorm last week here in Colorado. But it was snow, and it was pretty much gone the next day because our temps have been fairly warm. So I'm super excited to have been able to spend a little bit of time with you today. And until next time, happy making. <laughs>